All right, in this video, we're going to talk about number six from the 2015 Calc BC exam, and it is the series question. Um, so F is given by uh, that thing right there. And in part A, we are told we need to use a ratio test to find R. R is the radius of convergence. So that's going to um, involve uh, a couple things. So the first thing, I'm going to say that uh, A sub N is just the nth term. So it's negative 3 to the n minus 1 times x to the n all over n. So the first thing to do the ratio test is I need a sub n plus 1 divided by a sub n. So that's going to be equal to, so here's a sub n plus 1. So I replace every n in a sub n with n plus 1. And it simplifies to negative 3 to the n x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. I like to just multiply by the reciprocal of a sub n. So it's times n over negative 3 to the n minus 1 times x to the n. Um, this actually simplifies down to negative 3 times n times x all over n plus 1. If you're not sure about that, um, the hardest part, I guess, is that negative 3. So if I have negative 3 to the n over negative 3 to the n minus 1, um, I get this through kind of factoring. So like that, I can cancel. And then I'm left with 1 over negative 3 to the negative 1, which is just negative 3. So that's where that came from. And now I need to take the limit as the absolute value of that thing uh, goes to infinity. Limit as, n, uh, limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value of that thing, rather. I don't know what I even said. Um, so n over n plus 1 goes to 1. Uh, the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. And then the absolute value of x is the absolute value of x. Um, so the series will converge every time uh, this limit is less than 1. So 3 times the absolute value of x is less than 1 which means the absolute value of x is less than one-third. So r, what I need to find, is one-third. So that's not really all that bad. Um, we just do the ratio test, um, which if you use my notes, you know I think is the best test ever. Uh, so the next thing we want to do is the first four non-zero terms of the Maclaurin series for f prime. Uh, this is always a little weird, because if you look at the series they gave you, they wrote out the first three non-zero terms of f, so we actually need one more term of that, so f of x, so that's what you get if you plug in 1 to the nth term. Uh, this is what you get when you plug in 2. This is what you get when you plug in 3, so I need to plug in 4 to get the fourth term, um, which gives me this, and plus dot dot dot, and so on. Um, so if I start taking the derivative of this, just term by term, uh, f prime of x is going to be the derivative of x is 1, the derivative of negative 3 halves x squared is minus 3x. Um, then we get plus 9x squared. Now I take this derivative, I get minus 27x cubed, um, plus dot dot dot. Um, we have an nth term here. Uh, remember when you take the derivative of the nth term? You actually don't need to take the derivative of the nth term. I'm just doing that for kind of completeness. Uh, the only variable is x, so you're basically using the power rule. So bring the exponent down, subtract 1, which is why we end up with x to the n minus 1 and the n canceled out. Um, so I actually only need the first four non-zero terms. So f prime of x is approximately the first four non-zero terms. Um, so the next thing we're told to do is to rewrite f prime as a rational function um, that is valid when the absolute value of x is less than r, where r is the one-third we found before. So uh, if you look at this thing, it's actually just geometric. So um, to test for geometric, just divide consecutive terms and see if you keep getting the same thing. So negative 3x divided by 1 is negative 3x. 9x squared divided by negative 3x is negative 3x. Negative 27x cubed divided by 9x squared is negative 3x. It's definitely geometric with r equals negative 3x. So we can write this thing just by summing up the geometric series. So it's the first term, which is 1, uh, divided by 1 minus r, um, and we can clean that up. So f prime is 1 over 1 plus 3x, um, where the absolute value of x is less than 1 third. Um, so that's part b. And now part c is, uh, I don't know, c has one easy point to get. You just have to write e to the x uh, to four non-zero terms. So there you go. Uh, I should have had that memorized. Uh, e to the x, sine of x, cosine of x, 1 over 1 minus x. Make sure you memorize those. Sometimes they just give you points for writing down terms. Um, which is what happened here. Next thing we need to do is we need to use uh, the Maclaurin series for e to the x to write the third degree Taylor polynomial for g of x, which is e to the x times f of x. 
So e to the x times f of x. So what I'm going to do, uh, there is almost certainly a better way to do this, but I'm not sure what it is. I'm going to write out the terms of e to the x that I need, and then the terms of f of x that I need. So I'm writing every term of e to the x up to the third power, every term of f of x up to the third power, and I'm just going to like piecewise multiply them. Um, so for starters, and I'll stop as soon as I get an x that's x cubed, because I just need to write the third degree Taylor polynomial. So if I start, I'm going to do 3x cubed times 1. That gives me 3x cubed. If I did 3x cubed times x, that would give me 3x to the fourth, which is too big, so I'm going to stop with the 3x cubed. I'm going to move on to the negative 3 halves x squared. So negative 3 halves x squared times 1 is negative 3 halves x squared. Negative 3 halves x squared times x is negative 3 halves x cubed. Um, if I multiply negative 3 halves x squared by x squared over 2 factorial, that gives me an x to the fourth, which is too big, so I'm done. Uh, next, I'm going to move on to the x. So x times 1 is x. x times x is x squared. And x times x squared over 2 factorial is just 1 half x cubed. And uh, if I multiply x times the x cubed term, I get x to the fourth, which is too big. So now I just collect like terms. So e to the x times f of x is approximately um, 2x cubed minus 1 half x squared plus x. I am sure there's a better way to do that, but uh, this way gets you the answer. And uh, I hope you found this helpful. So good luck.